and he got up on the member advising his companions radiallahu anhum possibly for the last time and he gave them approximately six pieces of advice over the next several days and I want you to contemplate over these pieces of advice for they are the legacy of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the first advice that he gave to his companions is that he gave them a forewarning that he was about to die and he said that do not do to me as the Christians did to Isa ibn Maryam they took his place of death as a place of worship so do not take my grave as a place of worship and do not take it as a place that is frequented the Prophet Sallallahu message was all about taking the people into Tawheed and getting them to leave shirk and he did not want to see that the great rever veneration that they had in their hearts for him sallallahu alaihi wasallam that even after his death they should go back to their old ways or that people should start to slowly introduce shirk after the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had purified islam for them so the first piece of advice you will see is always the most crucial and this was the first piece of advice that he gave his, to his companions that after I die, do not take my grave as a place of worship. The second advice that the Prophet ﷺ gave was directly related to the last revelation that he received. The last revelation that the Prophet ﷺ received, contrary to common notion, was not Al Yoma Akmaltu Lakum Dinakum. It was not the revelation that today I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you. But rather the last revelation that was given to the Prophet ﷺ was That let every individual fear the day that he will return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the soul shall see everything that it put forth and no one will be done injustice to on that day. And with this last revelation, the Prophet ﷺ also gave one of, his last, one of his last pieces of advice. He said, here is my back in front of you. Here is my honor in front of you. If I have abused or hit anyone's back, let him take his revenge today. If I have taken anyone's honor, here is my honor in front of you today. Let him take that revenge. The Prophet ﷺ implementing that verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you want to set your record straight before you leave this dunya. You don't want to show up in the akhirah owing anyone some sort of debt, whether it be tangible or non tangible. And the Prophet ﷺ implementing that advice by himself foremostly. Brothers and sisters, this is an advice that we need to take very personally. That in our lives, we will always have wronged someone, whether we realize it or not. And you want to set that record straight before you come in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in this dunya, you can seek forgiveness. In this dunya, you can apologize. But once you show up in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only thing that will be left is your deeds. There will be no apologies, there will be no sorries. You will either be giving people your good deeds. And if you run out of good deeds on that day, and may Allah protect us all, you will end up taking the bad deeds of evil. You will end up taking the bad deeds of other individuals. And that is how justice will be done on that day. And the Prophet ﷺ implemented that very last commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the third advice that the Prophet ﷺ gave to his companions, he said, in my life, I have made many covenants and I have made any, many agreements. So honor my word and live up to those covenants and live up to those agreements. And I have left you with something. If you were to hold on to it, you will never go astray. Indeed, that is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that which is similar to it, my sunnah. 
On the third advice the Prophet ﷺ gave to his companions, he advised them that the Messenger of Allah ﷺ was not something that we just claim to love. He was not just an individual that we claim to honor. But rather it is the obligation upon every Muslim that any word the Prophet ﷺ gave, the Muslims have to honor that word. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that in order for us to remain guided, in order for us to remain upon the straight path, we must stick to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. For indeed, revelation came down for the sake of guidance. And it came down for the sake of unity and it came down to solve all of our problems. And it is only when we distance ourselves from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that problems start to occur and they start to manifest themselves. And the solution to all of those problems is always going back to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And rather it is a fundamental pillar of our Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we resort all of our differences to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went on to give his last advice to the ummah. And just as the first advice, the last advice that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would give is usually the most important as well. And that advice was given from his very bed. As he's laying down in a state of weakness, his companions are close to him. And the adhan has not been called yet. So he tells his companions, let one of you go and give the adhan. And after, as the adhan was being given, the Prophet ﷺ wavered in and out of consciousness. And when he woke up, he asked, has the salah been performed? Has the salah been done? And the answer that was given was no. And then the Prophet ﷺ raised his voice to the best of his ability. In his weakness, he told them, as salah, as salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum. That hold on to the salah, hold on to the salah, and fulfill the right of what the right hand possesses. The Salah, my brothers and sisters, was the final command that the Prophet ﷺ gave to this Ummah. And he commanded this Ummah to hold on to it for dear life. That as his very last advice, he said, hold on to your Salah and guard that which the right hand possesses. We all know what the Salah is. And as we're going to come to see, this was the farewell advice of the Prophet ﷺ and in fact his legacy. And we will want to implement that legacy. So please pay attention to this last advice. That guard your salah and that which your right hand possesses. Scholars have actually differed as to what the Prophet ﷺ meant when he said that which the right hand possesses. If you were to look through the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about salah, it is usually zakah that is accompanied with it. It is usually the zakah that is paired together with salah. So quite a few of the scholars said that it was protect your salah and protect your zakah. That was the farewell advice of the Prophet ﷺ. Another group of scholars, they said when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about that which the right hand possesses, he is actually referring to the slaves. That guard the rights of your slaves, show mercy upon them, do not oppress them, do not show any injustice to them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best but the more applicable advice is the more general advice. And that was guard your salah and guard your zakah. And if you hold on to those, then you would have fulfilled the legacy of the Prophet ﷺ.